Hey, what is up everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you here tonight. Um, I don't normally make a lot of basketball videos, but this is the big one um, for the Sacramento Kings and for the people that have been subscribed to my channel for a long time. We've had a lot of rise and fall in the city of Sacramento um, since I think about 2012, maybe 2013, um, when the Kings were announced that they were leaving and um, they were going to leave Sacramento. Um, they were going to pack their bags. At that time, they were going to be heading to Seattle to become the new Seattle Supersonics. Um, then there was rumors that they were going to Las Vegas. Then there were rumors that they were going to move to Virginia. And uh, they were basically going to move anywhere. Um, and then basically, um, new ownership came in, um, bought the team, uh, committed that they were going to be keeping the city, um, the team in the city of Sacramento. Um, we built the brand new golden one center um downtown beautiful arena i've been to it for wrestling i've been to it for monster trucks i've been to it for disney on ice i've been down there just to see it on multiple occasions um have not been to a king's game yet um but i i really don't know what happened this weekend it was announced honestly um probably about a month ago um, that DeMarcus Cousins and the Sacramento Kings had announced that they were going to be signing a um, max deal um, for DeMarcus to be staying in the city of Sacramento. Um, there was two rumors that have come out. One rumor um, basically saying that sometime in the past, the Phoenix Suns and the Sacramento Kings were working out some sort of a package um, to, to trade for DeMarcus Cousins. Um, there was another rumor that came out just today um, that at some time in the past, the Orlando Magic had been working on a deal for DeMarcus Cousins and that had gone bust. Honestly, when I read both of those stories, I, I thought that both times um, they were past deals that were before the contract talks were, were come through um, and that DeMarcus was going to be a part of the future of Sacramento. Um, DeMarcus Cousins, being an all-star, um, doing a lot of press, basically said everything that a... Um, a guy that the team was going to be built around um, should say um, that he wanted to stay in Sacramento. It's where he wants to sign his um, extension. Um, he wants to be a bright part of the future. He wants to have his number retired as a member of the Sacramento Kings. The only thing he didn't say is that he wanted to win a championship in the city of Sacramento. Because honestly, I, you can say that. But I mean, look at the teams that they've built around DeMarcus Cousins here in Sacramento. And, and I mean, now it's done. He's going to be playing for New Orleans. They never really put together a winner. Um, honestly, everything points to New Orleans being big-time winners. Drew Holiday, Anthony Davis, DeMarcus Cousins, that's a huge front court. Um, I know that the Sacramento Kings are going to be bringing in Tyreek Evans. They're going to be bringing in Heald. Um, some guy named Langston that I've never heard of that Alex Lorenzo is going bananas for over there, um, saying that he is the reason why the Kings are going to win this trade. The Kings ain't winning shit. All right, honestly, with this trade, to me, honestly, this is this is like playing Monopoly and grabbing that card that says go directly to jail. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. We're going back to square point A. I mean, this, this to me, honestly, is blowing up the program and starting over. Um, a lot of people looked at the game. Um, I think about two weeks ago, the Kings played the, uh, the um, uh, Celtics. Um... And DeMarcus Cousins, who received his, uh, what was it, 12th, 16th, however many technicals it takes to get suspended for one game, and he had to sit that game out. And people thought, well, you know, we'll just scratch this game. It is what it is. Uh, Kings are going to go out there and um, try their best, but they're not going to do it. The Kings played a, a damn good game, um, led by Collison. And um, Collison even, you know, put it out there in the press after the game was done. How'd you guys do it? We all played together. We all played as a team. We all had, you know, one um, mission was to, was to play the best and, and, and win the game. And, and right there, to me, I think he took a real stiff shot at DeMarcus Cousins. He said, hey, nobody was out there arguing the calls. We took the calls as they came, and we, and we played the game. It is what it is. Um, Tyreek Evans coming back to Sacramento is death. Tyreek Evans was a big-time thing here when he came here. He won the Rookie of the Year. I thought he was a good player. I got sick and tired of every time Evans brought the ball up the court, he wanted to play one-on-five basketball. Every time he came up the court, push everybody off the side. I got this. I got this. I better not see that shit, or I'm turning the TV off. I mean, Evans did that way too much. You are not going to beat five guys on your own. You're not going to drive to the hole when everybody knows you're driving to the hole. They're going to put two guys in the middle, and you're going to be going in there one on three. You might be able to beat this guy off the break, but you still got two more guys to, to, to beat to get to the basket. 
I don't know, honestly. I, I mean, we get the king. We get we get the um, the Hornets first and second round pick. I don't know if that means in this year's draft or in a future draft, but. The Hornets, to me, are not a, uh, a lottery pick. We have to give our lottery pick away this year, so we already don't have a good pick to have. Um, we have to give that to, I believe, Chicago for some shitty trade that we did years back. Um, and then also, we still have that damn 76ers trade where we gave them players. And to take those players, we gave them the right to flip picks with us. Uh, my buddy Troy... Um, who's a deeper Kings fan than me that that, that that knows about those guys' rights in Europe and stuff like that. I guess we got the rights to two European players. One of them's supposed to be coming next year. I'll, I'll hold my breath on that one and see what's going to happen. But the, you know, the Hornets are a good team. It's not like we're going to be getting a great pick to pick somebody in there. I mean, yeah, we found great picks. I mean, we were picking in the 20s in, in years past. We, I think that's where we picked Kevin Martin. That's where we picked Francisco Garcia, who I thought was a good player. But, you know, honestly, he had his six years in the league and he was done. And then he went and played and, uh, uh, fuck, where was he from? I just looked him up on uh, Wikipedia the other day because I was a fan of his and I wanted to see what he was doing. I thought maybe he'd still be hanging around in the pros and he's not even playing. Um, ball out of the country, so I guess he just got to the point where he couldn't play no more, but um, I don't know what the Kings are going to do. Honestly, I guess they're blowing it up. They want to see what they can do without Cousins. They got a huge break when they drafted Cousins. To me, honestly, Cousins was one of the best players in that draft. He fell to us because of the problems that we knew he had. We knew that he had anger issues, and we took the good with the bad, um, but uh, I don't even know what the Kings have a framework for right now. Honestly, we got to get the offseason. The Kings have never signed a free agent to play here. Anybody who's ever come here was traded here or they got drafted here and they got stuck here. Yeah, we signed, we signed Rondo uh, a few years ago. Honestly, probably one of the biggest free agents we've ever signed besides for Vlade Divac. Divac was at the end of his career. Nobody else wanted him. Nobody knew that he was going to be the catalyst to build that 2002 team to put us together to being one of the best teams in the NBA. Nobody thought that was going to happen. He didn't do it with the Hornets. People thought that he'd spent his best years playing in Europe, playing for the Lakers, and he was done. Um, but he still had something to offer, and the Kings took it, and they, and they, and they built off that. Rondo um, signed here for a year, led the league in assists, did what he wanted to do, took that and took the offer from the Bulls, and he cashed out. He was never looking to play here full-time. There was no sort of you know Rondo and Cousins chemistry. You could tell because Rondo was the first guy that wanted to shout about how bad it was to play here in Sacramento. Um, so... You know, you can say you're saving all the money you want to in the world, but no one's going to sign here. Nobody wants to play here. And I mean, Divac coming out and basically saying, I'm not going to trade him, I'm not going to trade him, we want him as part of our, our, our future, and then trading him, that's going to hurt your value with future players that want to play here because they can't trust management. That is fucking huge. People complain about that all the time and say that's one of the reasons why they don't want to go play certain places. We fucked ourselves. Tyreek Evans, god damn it. I hope this is one of those guys that gets traded somewhere who just doesn't even bother to show up and then he gets cut and then goes somewhere else. I don't want Evans on my team. Fuck it. 